So if we start coming down a bit here, you can actually get onto uh, the rhomboids a little bit here in between. Bring this arm up here. I'm going to have you go right across here, gravity like a stretch, and pull it right in. Good. Now take it over. And what I'll do here is I'll actually use my elbow. Stabilize the shoulder here. I'll see you show it. I mean, take this across here and pull it in. You don't really feel much of anything there, do you? Mm. Not really. No. Take it back here. Now hold this and stabilize it. Take it across. There we oh, go. Yeah. Yeah. This is when you start to feel things. <laughs> yeah. Good. And that really opens it up. Now what I'm doing is I'm actually going from the spinous processes towards the medial border of the scapula, taking it lateral. But I can also work towards the spinous process at the same time. Take it across. Good. How are you doing there? Good. 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 On some of the other videos we've shown, we're talking about the scapulothoracic joint. Taking it up, taking this back, and opening it up just so we can get an increase in scapulothoracic rhythm. Just make sure you come back a little bit. You okay there? Yes. And again. And up. Good. Down. Now, we got on the semispinalis, which is straight up. Let's get on to the uh, splenius capitis here, which is more of an angle and connecting into the nuchal line here. So what I'll get you to do is kind of turn your head over, and we'll take this out at the same time. You doing okay there? Yeah. That one doesn't feel too bad, really. No. <laughs> Excellent. So we're working our way through multiple structures until finally we can actually get fairly deep here. And if we wanted to, we could actually work our way through the rectus spinae. Okay, take your head back a little bit. Now take your head forward. Quite the stretch there, isn't it? Yes. Take it down and up. And again, take it down. Okay, and up, and again, down, and up. When we're teaching classes, one of the things we always tell practitioners to be careful of, don't wrap your hands around the patient's neck, please. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now if you want to get actually even deeper, there's a little groove along the edge of the spinous process here, transversal spinalis. Take your arm up here, and we're going to go right across like this, okay? Just one sec here. Okay, take it across and right up across at an angle. Right up. There you go. Now I know in certain techniques they say that we're actually dealing with the multifidus and the rotatories and the spinalis, but take it across. That little groove there is only as wide as my thumb. So if I'm here and I'm actually going up at an angle from here, I'm actually covering all three muscles. Take it across. Good. Now I'm going inferior. I was going superior before. Now I'm going inferior and lateral. So taking this down. Are you doing okay there? Yes. Okay, good. Excellent. So what I've done here is we've worked through multiple layers through the traps, working our way down, getting out of the levator scapula, working even deeper through the rhomboids or your spinae until we finally get to the transversal spinalis. What structures you're going to find that are restricted is going to vary greatly and realize that all of these different tissues are actually connected with fascia and connective tissue. So you may think you're working on one structure only, that is very seldom true. And finally, when we get fairly deep, then we have to look at joint mobilization. So it's not just about the soft tissue, but it's also about the joints themselves. These are very effective procedures, but one of the main things is take your time, allow the structures to release. You may actually need to hold a particular point for even close to a minute sometimes and you'll actually feel the tissue soften up under your hand. These are very, very effective procedures.